the cap theorem, one of those things that look like it's just a boring thing that you only need for an interviews, but in fact is not. Cap theorem is extremely important if you want to build a scalable system, and you often don't think about it until the moment that you need. And when you go into those boring decisions of should I use this technology, should I use that one, often the terms that will be used can be described by the cap theorem. Consistency, availability, all of those terms have a relation to it. So that's why I believe that we should take a few minutes to talk about it. Let's start with the boring academic part, and then we go back to what matters. An example that will make sense for you. So, what does it mean, the cap theorem? C stands for consistency, A for availability, and P for partition tolerance. Let's go one by one. So, consistency. Consistency means that when you try to read data, the data that you'll read is exactly the one that has been written, or you will get an error. So in other words, there's no chance of reading data that is outdated. What about availability? Availability is the idea that you always get a response. If you try to read something from the database, from the store, you will always get something. That doesn't mean that it's the most recent set of data, but you always get something. And then we have partition tolerance. While consistency and availability are quite obvious, partition tolerance often is the one that is not that immediate when you try to understand it. So the idea is simple. In fact, partition tolerance is the availability of the system when something goes wrong between the communication of two nodes. In other words, imagine that you have two servers. Those two servers have a communication line between them, so a network. And at a given moment, that network goes out. It drops to the floor. And on that moment, if your system is capable of keep operating, so the abil ability of the system to keep working, even when those two servers don't have a communication between them, it means that you have partition tolerance. If you need to have that network in place, you don't. And why is this thing important, the CAP theorem? For a simple reason, because according to the CAP theorem, you can only pick two of them. And when we talk about scalable systems, distributed systems, the partition tolerance part needs to be there. You have that for a fact. So that means that now you need to pick either availability or consistency. So let's get out of the boring part of the terminology of the theory and let's see a practical example. So imagine the following scenario. I decide to open a bakery. I love to bake and I have my bakery. Currently, on the first day, I don't have uh, anything fancy. I don't have software in place. I don't have systems. I just want to bake some bread. And eventually things start to go well and I start having a lot of orders and a lot of people calling me saying, okay, I want to order some bread. And I have all of those orders to fulfill. Eventually things are going well, but is too much for me. I need someone helping out. So I bring my partner in and now I'm spreading the work. So any of us can pick that phone and get an order. So I usually, what I was doing is that I would go to the bakery, I would be working, the phone would ring, I would take a note on my notebook saying, okay, person A ordered this uh, quantity, or this type of bread, something like that. So I would keep taking notes of that on my notebook. So then my partner, when he comes in and he picks a phone call, he also takes note of those orders, but he takes it on his own notebook. And everything goes well until the day that um, Mr. Smith comes in and he says, okay, I have an order of a sorto bread and I want to take it home. And I go to my notebook and I can find the order there. And I say, no, you don't have an order. I don't have anything on record about that. So that person, Mr. Smith, will be obviously disappointed. Okay? Who I would be. And what happened on that moment? On that moment, I had a problem of consistency. Why? Because likely that client, when he called to, to make an order, who took the order was my partner. So now the order is in one notebook, but it's not on mine. That means that I have a consistency problem. So I need to address that. And I decide to create a system to address that. So we agree that when we get a new order, we will start 
communicating with each other. So someone comes in, uh, calls to, to the number and I'm about to take the order, but first I will say to my partner, make sure that you write this order down as well. So now the order is in both systems, both systems are consistent. And we decide that, okay, how we are going to do this, how I'm going to tell you, you need to take a note of that order. So let's use something like uh, WhatsApp or another messaging system. So I will ask him through WhatsApp, make sure that you take the note. The answer comes back, it's okay. So I take note as well and I tell the customer, okay, you can come at X hours to, to pick your order. Everything is fine until the moment that we have a problem and for example, WhatsApp is down. So now I don't have the network. So what do I do? I get a call. I can't communicate with my partner. I have basically two options. I can either decline the order saying, okay, sorry, but we can take note of that order. Or I can decide to take note it and accept that the system will not be consistent for a while. What is not a big deal in this case? But now imagine that this is an ATM system and you have multiple ATM machines and uh, several people trying to take money out of the same account. If I don't have the network, it might lead to a problem. So one way that I could address this is, okay, I will take note and my partner, when he comes back online, you always make sure that he goes through my list and make sure that it takes note of the same uh, orders. That way I make sure that when the system comes back online, everyone has the same thing. This way I made my system available. So when I get a call, even if I can't communicate with the other nodes, I still can answer back saying, okay, I took note of your order. The thing is that in this approach, I'm assuming that the system is, it will not be consistent. And this is the trade-off that we need to take. It's also important to say that when you pick the pair of consistency and the partition tolerance, one thing that will happen is that the latency will increase because now every single time that you receive a request, that request will take some time because it needs to communicate with the other nodes before answering back because we want to make sure that we really have that data. So it's not only about consistency and availability, there's always here the latency that can be an important decision when picking one technology or one approach. But let me tell you that there's usually a problem in the interpretation of what the cap theorem is. Usually you will see everyone picking it as something like black or white. Okay, you can only have the system consistent or you can only have the system available. You'd need to pick only one of those two approaches. But the reality is that that's not true. For example, on our example of the bakery, I can take a decision if I prefer to accept more orders than the ones that I'm capable of fulfilling. And that way I might go with availability, taking the risk that when someone comes to, to get the, the bread, uh, the order is not there because I couldn't fulfill it or taking the risk of needing to call them back saying, sorry, but uh, there was a problem and I can't fulfill your order. Or I can decide that I will decline requests if I can't fulfill them going through the consistency approach. Or for example, in a small business, I can still use both approaches depending on the scenario. For example, I can use an av availability approach on taking orders of bread because it's quite easy for me to, to bake new bread. But if I'm talking about something like uh, croissants, where I take some hours to do them, I just do a small batch every single day, maybe on that case, I want to go with a consistency approach. The same thing happens with the ATM machines example that we talked about. If it's a deposit, you don't care about the consistency. It's perfectly fine if things only show up on the account after a few minutes, after a few hours. But if we are talking about withdrawing money to take money home, that can be a problem. Because if you accept the eventually consistency, the availability path, that means that I can go or two different people can go with a card for the same account, two different machines and withdraw uh, more money that I have on the account. So on th that case, I might prefer to go with consistency and if I can't communicate, I will say to the client, sorry, we can't fulfill your request at the moment, but if you try to deposit, I can accept it because eventually I will be able to replicate that data through the system. And if you are still in doubt why Cap Theory matters, make sure you subscribe because I have a video coming out soon where I will show you 
how the cap theory impacts different technologies that you pick on your day-to-day -day, and understanding it might be a good way to take the right decision. And now I think you'll like to watch this video right here and I will see you on the next one.